Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys like my everyday makeup routine. Something that I would do on an everyday basis. Um, and I do like to switch up like what I do on my eyes like every sing like almost every single day. But this is just what like my go-to kind of look that I would create with like any palette pretty much. Um, it's pretty much like a neutral eye look. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys hear any like banging going on, going on, there's construction actually right outside my window. So I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to get another video up for you guys. And um, also, I hope that you guys liked my last video of me trying ASMR. So I'm just going to hop right into it and show you guys my everyday kind of makeup routine. All right, so I've already moisturized my face, and um, next thing that I would normally do is take a primer. This primer is by Touch and Soul, and it's the no, no Pore Blum Primer. And I'm going to um, put a little bit of this in my hand, and just kind of rub it all over my face. This is really going to um, fill in my pores a lot, and just make it so um, I have a nice smooth application for foundation. Okay, so now that I'm all primed and <clears throat> ready to go for um, foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. Ooh, that's kind of bright actually. So it just looks like this in the nude packaging. And I really like only tried two stick foundations. The other one was the Anastasia Stick Foundation. Um, and I really, really like that one. And I've also really liked this one. So I think I might just really like stick foundations, even though it's only been two um, stick foundations. I just like how easily easy they are to apply and how you can just really get a great application with these stick foundations. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the neck. It might be a little bit dark for me, but I think with the right lighting, it'll be fine. Um, this is my summer shade and I am pretty tan right now. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques sponge and just kind of pounce this all over my face. I would say that this foundation leaves a really dewy finish to the face, especially if you're going to um, <clears throat> be blending it out with a wet sponge. I feel like the dew just is kind of a lot, but you can always set it with powder or if you like the dewy look, then, you know, whatever you're going for. I feel like if you're going for a dewy look, this foundation is definitely most likely gonna be for you. Uh, if you have dry skin, I feel like this foundation would be good for you as well. Okay, so this is how the foundation is looking. And I am breaking out a little bit on my face in these with these two pimples, but it's fine. Okay, next I'm gonna take concealer just to cover up any darkness underneath my eyes and to brighten up a little bit. Um, the concealer I'm gonna take is one of my favorites. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This, com this I was gonna say this complete. This concealer has a lot of coverage, really good coverage. Um, also the finish is like really nice too. It's, it is like a soft matte. Um, it's super creamy. And you can just really get, like I said, some nice coverage with this concealer. So I just apply it in like a triangular motion and my face might be looking a little bit darker than my body, but maybe it, it is, but maybe it's just the lighting as well. Cause I definitely don't look as dark in person. Okay, so I only apply concealer to the underneath of my eyes. I find if I apply it anywhere else, like my foundation just starts getting like super cakey looking. Um, so I'm just gonna just kind of bounce this out again with my Real Technique sponge. I 
I also like to bring it on the eyelid as well just to get some good coverage up there. You might find the, that you have discoloration on the eyelid, so you can just bring up your concealer on the eyelid and it'll take care of it for you. All right, so that's how the foundation and the concealers work is looking. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, next I'm gonna set everything down with my Peach Perfect by Too Faced setting powder. If I don't mention a product in this video, I'll just make sure to link all the products I used down below in the description. So make sure to check that out, and um, I'll just list my shade names as well in case you guys think that you're like the same shade as me or anything like that. So. I'm going to put a little bit of powder in the lid like this, just pour it right into the lid. And then I'm gonna take the um, point of my beauty blender, or my beauty blender, my Real Technique sponge. And I'm just going to kind of bake underneath the eyes by pressing the powder in like that, but not all the way. Just kind of setting it right on top. So that's how that's looking. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and whatever's left in the um, lid of the powder, I'm just gonna take and just set the rest of the face. That's a lot. Wow. Okay, so normally I would let this sit on for a little bit longer, but I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off right now. And I'm just going to take my brush and just wipe away the powder. And I'm also going to just set my lids a little bit with that powder. Okay, so that's how we're looking so far. I'm gonna move on to bronzer next. So taking an angled brush, I have this um, bronzing palette right here. I'm just gonna dip into all three of these colors and just kind of bronze up my face. All right, next I'm gonna move on to blush and highlight and then the face will be done. For blush, ooh, that's kind of bright again. But for blush, I'm gonna take this blush right here. There you go, there's the true color. Um, this is Most Necessary by ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna take two highlighters. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm also gonna take the Fenty Trophy Wife as well. And I'm just gonna mix them and pop them on the top of the cheekbone. Alright, so next I'm going to move on to eyes, and I'm going to do brows really quick, but I'm going to do those off camera just to save some time. Alright, so the brows are on. That's how they're looking. And I'm going to um, move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. And I'm going to do a simple everyday eye. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Dawn. So I'm taking Dawn and I'm just going to run it on a big fluffy brush, but I'm just going to run it through my crease just to start to warm up the crease a little bit. 
and to get that transition shade in there as well. I'm not even gonna wear eyeliner and I don't even own an eyeliner, but today I think me and my friend are gonna go to Sephora and I think I'm gonna get the Fenty Fly Liner uh, by Rihanna because that one seems just like so, so good. And I wanna start to do eyeliner again. Um, okay, next I'm gonna take the shade called New Wave and it's just this yellow, kinda like mustardy yellow. And I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to put this through the crease again, just kind of blending it in with that Dawn shade. The lighting got weird there. All right, and then I feel like doing like a pop of color on the lid. I wanted to keep the crease kind of simple, but um, I might do like a bold lip. So for the lid, I'm gonna take Electric, which is just like a really reflective, like yellowy green color. And I'm just gonna pop that with my finger. Wow, that looks really good on the lid and it's just gonna be like super messily messily put so that's that and then just really quickly I'm gonna run whatever's left over on my brush on my lash line I'm gonna go do mascara and be right back all right guys, so the mascara is on and this is how everything is looking. I think it looks pretty good. And for the lips, I am gonna do a bold lip. I'm gonna take the Fenty Lipstick in the shade Matte Moselle. And I'm gonna apply it to my lips. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe got some inspiration from it to create and use your subculture palette, even though it's a little bit debatable out there of like how the formula works, but I feel like it could definitely be worked out and you guys can create some looks with this palette. You guys can go ahead and follow along if you guys own this palette um, with this tutorial, but that's going to be it for me today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and maybe leave a comment or something, because I'm new to this uh, whole YouTube channel, but I would love to talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye!